I think, I think, frankly, Mr. Speaker, we got Brexit done. Let's keep Brexit done, yeah. and and let's and let, let let's keep Brexit done, and let's press ahead with this government's mission to unite and level up across our whole country and grasp the opportunities before us. Because I'm going to open, Mr. Speaker, a new chapter in our national story striking free trade deals around the world, adding to the agreements with 63 countries we've already achieved, and reasserting global Britain as a liberal, outward-looking force for good. It's often said there's nothing simple about Brexit, but the choice before the House today is perfectly simple. Do we implement the treaty that has been agreed with the EU, or do we not? That is the choice. If we choose not to, the outcome is clear. We leave the transition period without a deal, without a deal on security, on trade, on fisheries, without protection for our manufacturing sector, for farming, for countless British businesses, and without a foothold to build a future relationship with the EU. Anyone choosing that option today knows there is no time to renegotiate, there's no better deal coming in the next 24 hours. No extensions, no humble addresses, no SO24s. So choosing that option leads to one place, no deal. Or we can take the only other option that is available and implement the treaty that has been negotiated. Now, this is a thin deal. It's got many flaws, and I'll come to that in a moment. But a th I will in just a minute. But a thin deal is better than no deal.